guys, uh, congratulations on your new series and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, uh, Mr. Myers, last time we, we had the chance to enjoy uh, your work was some years ago in Bohemian Rhapsody and the Terminal. So what spoke to you from the Pentabra that made you say, yeah, I'm going to do this specific project and I need to do it right now? Well, I, I, I have three kids under the age of 10 and I, I didn't want to do anything long for the last 10 years. Uh, so I did a lot of things like I did a documentary on Shep Gordon, Alice Cooper's manager called Supermensch. I did that out of my house and that was three years. So I got to see my kids in the morning and at night and during the day if they were needed to see me. And, uh, uh, you know, I was in Inglorious Bastards. I was in uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, just little things that were here and there. And about two years ago, um, I kind of like, I knew what my life was with three kids. And uh, I was just, I've always been obsessed with uh, secret societies and uh, conspiracy theory, and it's very much on people's mind. And I thought, what if there was a way to talk about that in a, in a silly and fun way, about a very serious threat to democracy, but in a way that um, is my favorite way of talking about important things, and that is uh, in a silly way. And so uh, I went to Netflix, I said, what if, the world was run by five people. Uh, what if they were nice? And what if I played all five people? And Netflix said, yeah, let's make that. And I was like, yay. So here we are. Thank you, Netflix. I, th I think it was a great decision. So, hey, yeah. <laughs> and it's more re relevant. Uh, the themes are more relevant now than ever, I think, for, for 2022. So uh, Mr. Chung, uh, you always bring so much energy to the screen. Hilarious stuff again in this one. So uh, how was your experience working, uh, collaborating with Mr. Myers on, this, on the series? And did you get distracted or break out laughing when doing any of the scenes with Mr. one of Mr. Myers' uh, characters? Uh, all the time. This is uh, honestly one of my favorite, one of my favorite experiences I've ever had in my career because uh, Mike is uh, not only my friend, but he was he was one of the reasons why I decided to pursue comedy full time as a uh, having a day job as a doctor. So it, never in my wildest dreams um, did I ever think I would be able to um, work with Mike on, in, on any level, and, and much less to have such a such an amazing role on this project and. Uh, every day when you when you go when I went back home every day to go home with a smile on your face every single day like like I can't believe I'm doing this it, it, it you know we all should be experiencing that in our lives just to have this pure joy every single day and and also to be given a lot of uh, how do I say I, I'm just to watch his pro I felt like I had the best seat in the house watching his process watching one of my idols process of how he does it and it is just it was every day was this wonderful wonderful like like the summer conservatory of like just pure joy and aptitude that and and mike has also helped me in my own skill set push me and my performance to a level where it's never I, I've never done before, and and so to have almost it, like a like a professor just like pushing me and, and saying I believe in you, you can do this, and it it was so many things and, and so many emotions that I I have right now talking to you. It it it, it truly um, it truly is a special moment for me. And you were fantastic in it. So uh, before wrapping up, Mr. Myers, one of the aspects I really enjoyed the most about this series was that it's more adult oriented. I mean, we all love Shrek. We all love Austin Powers, Wayne's World, etc. But this definitely is, was more hardcore. So yes. how liberating is it as an actor and a comedian to be able to do this type of comedy where you get to play with bad language, do nasty jokes, gags, etc.? Uh, uh, it was a joy. Um, <laughs> I, I'm loving... Uh, I'm loving the world of <clears throat> streaming wood, you know what I mean, of, of, of the world of, it's just a very, very free space to do fun comedy. And Netflix were just spectacular in how can we help you, what do you need? And uh, it was a very, very free and great experience. And working with this guy, who I haven't just gotten such a, a hit of 
just pure comedic ability since Chris Farley. Like, honestly. Just, you, he's a special effect. Like, you just, all right, Ken, go, dude. And your number one job is to just make sure you don't get in the way and let him do his thing. But it was a joy. Uh, it, was, it, it was really, really funny. So, guys, again, thank you for your time. Congratulations on your new series. And I want to I wanna, I wanna say that thank you to both of you for all the laughs you provided in my life. So, wish you the best always and take care, guys. Thank you so much. Thank very you so lovely. much. Thank you. Thank you.